how do everyone uh, this is durbar ghosh today in this video i'm going to show you how you can uh, use schema markup in your blog posts or in your entire website manually so the thing is i find uh, so many times i have to use it manually that i don't even use any schema markup plugin and i find it more efficient so few reasons will be that uh, see how many schema markups are there in their official website there uh, are literally more than hundreds i think couple of hundreds at least see even more i guess so uh, there will be always some uh, some good schema but you don't have available in your plugin but uh, yeah mostly all common things will be available in plugin and i find it efficient enough to use it manually so what you do just search for in google about the schema you need like faq schema generator or review schema generator such like that and you will find the website or mostly you just directly go to this url and find the schema markup you need all common things will be available here and most of the schema you will need you will find it here for example this is faq and this is article uh, this is for local business this is really useful for local business uh, this one is for organization this is also really good you need to have in your website i think it's really good then this is product for reviews okay this is aggregate reviews but there is single reviews also so uh, to show you i have already typed some faqs just to save some time and i'll just copy this you can also test this in uh, structured data testing tool but we'll do it anyway afterwards so let's see which uh, okay um okay this one and another reason why i love doing it manually because uh, you can do it in html website or even blogger or in many other websites you can do but for plugin you have to uh, depend too much on the specific plugin right and many times you don't even know like which plugins people are using and you scratch your head so update it less copy this url go to structured testing tool and run a test so uh, this one i don't know how it happened i think blogger already does it but it's not good but this faq schema i just generated now so you can see this question and answers are same and this is perfect there is no error no warning and i think i told you another reason why i use it manually because many times i find uh, new schema markups from competitors and i want to use those and i don't know which uh, plugin they are using or they are using some paid plugin or even their website is not made with wordpress the case is with uh, a competitor of ours this website is built with php you see not with wordpress so and i like this schema markup so they have faq as well but i'm not interested in that because that is easy i know how to do it and uh, for this one they have actually combined uh, two schema markups like local business and organization uh, with the product review they have combined it so they have done the work already so <laughs> you can copy their schema markup but just go to their website then go to view source and then search for the i have copied this part don't copy like too much because it will be written separately so just copy something like this and you see it is here let me enter so this is the schema markup and just know that it starts with script type application ld plus json so you don't have to worry about like whether you are copying it properly or not so it starts from here then go to your post and again and go to html and you can do it in uh, wordpress also even in blog editor also there there is block called uh, html block you can search it just uh, click on the plus and search for it html block or any any block you can edit with html which is very useful for many things sometimes i need different design i can add css also similar way so now we have another schema markup added in here uh, let's test it whether it is working or not new test run the test uh which one i did okay i i added this one now 
so selenium testing uh, training okay everything is perfect so i don't think it is like uh, difficult than uh, doing it like with plugin so yeah there are some plugins which i want to show which already have it automatically for example i use uh, this plugin a lot for creating like different sections of uh, posts easily for example i use uh, i i create table of content using this plugin and some buttons also i create using this plugin and also for faq i use uh, this accordion a lot and it's really easy to do it with this plugin and uh, the cool thing is they already have faq schema markup uh, integrated with this and you don't have to again create the schema markup and all so the faq you create in your website with this accordion it will automatically have the schema markup you have to just turn it on if it is not so that is basically it i think this video was helpful and i find it pretty easy to do it manually thanks